Well, hello everyone. Today I'm going to show you how I did my makeup for 17. So let's get started. The first thing that I did is I got my Urban Decay Primer Potion in Epic Eye Twitch. Anyways, so I just put that all over my lids, brow bone, and also inner corner. And for eyeshadow, I used the Naked 2 palette. And I just took the YDK color and I just tap off any excess so that it doesn't go on to my face. So I just put that all over my lid and I feel like it's a really nice lid color. And I kind of feel like it would be good for a lot of skin tones. Now, for the crease, I decided to take tees and I just put that all over my crease, as I said. And you could do lighter or darker than I did. I personally did a little bit darker than I usually would have. And to highlight my brow bone, I just took Foxy and I just put that all over my brow bone. And I felt that it was a little too harsh, like from the brow bone to the crease color. So I just took a fluffy blending brush and I just blended out so that it's not a harsh line. And now for the gel liner, I'm just going to take Sephora's gel liner and I'm just going to do a little wing. Well, not really little, it's kind of big. But um, I just wanted to wing because I feel like it gives a really nice, kind of girly look to it and I really like that about it. And now taking a eyelash curler, this one is from Forever 21. I'm just going to curl my lashes and then with the Voluminous Mascara, I'm just going to coat that with my lashes. And using the Baby Lips Lip Balm, I love this so much. I'm just going to put that all over my lips. And by the way, it smells so, so good. It like legitly smells like fruit punch. I love it. And now taking this MAC blush in Eversun, I'm just going to put that all over my cheeks. And I feel like it gives a really nice kind of glow. So I guess that if you have the same skin tone that I do, I would really suggest this blush color because I really do like it. And I'm just going to put that all over my cheeks and also to kind of like even it out, I'm just going to put a little bit on my chin, my forehead, and a little teeny bit on my nose. And now for the hair, what I used is my Rivington Curling Iron. And if you want a tutorial on this, I actually did one. So I would actually link that in the below bar if you want to see that. So that is the end of my tutorial. I hope you guys enjoyed and have a wonderful day. Bye! Barnes and Noble, we're here. We thought, we thought that it was like, what street was it? 33. And it ended up being like 14 or 16 or 17. 17. So we ended up walking so many blocks. See, I'm glowing. We're now entering all this air conditioning, thank the Lord. Look at all the girls lining up to go to um, Barnes and Noble. I'm suddenly scared. <laughs> so right now we are like backstage, I guess. I don't really know. We're in the bookstore, Barnes and Noble. And we're just waiting backstage, if you want to call it that. And it doesn't start till like 12, and what time is it? 10.20. 10.20, this will be fun. Everybody's just, you know, waiting, chilling. That's cool. Okay, so, it... There is a really big... Like cheer. Um, we are still at Barnes and Nobles. We I just got a mic. We all got a mic um, for the video. Um, so there's like this big bump at the back. You can't even see it, but there's a mic and like it's on like the shirt and it's kind of awkward. But that's okay. Oh my gosh. There's like 400 people. My dad said. I'm really nervous.
and 17 Editor-in-Chief, Ann Chokex. <laughs> Ann, are you excited?